Hi folks and welcome to the Sketchable tutorial on touch rejection. I'm going to open up the application here, find a page that I want to draw on, and the first thing I'm going to do is open up the color picker. This is where you're going to find the touch rejection controls. While using both touch and pen to draw with in Sketchable, quite often the hand can come into contact with the device, leaving an unwanted stroke. Sketchable provides two controls to safeguard against this. Both are located around the color picker. The first is paint with touch, and it's represented here with a finger painting a line. Disabling this changes a single finger gesture from a stroke like this to the hand tool, allowing you to pan and position your canvas. Like that. Your second touch rejection tool is represented here by a hand with a line through it. Enabling this dismisses all touch input to the canvas. Obviously, it's best to use this when you have your canvas locked in the perfect scale, rotation and position. And this can be achieved while still allowing you to explicitly change these positions with the hand, zoom and rotation tools. So with touch rejection on, I still have the ability to pan around, zoom in and out and rotate my canvas, which leaves me free to get on and focus on my drawing without having to worry about any little rogue strokes or little blemishes on my illustration that I didn't intend. That's the tutorial over. We are done. I will see you in another sketchable training video. My name's Lawrence Mann. If you've got any questions, ask them in the comments below or come and track me down. I'll see you later, guys. Have a great day. Thank you.